What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video I will be showing you guys how to fix a few issues with Infinity. Now these issues aren't really with the Infinity firmware. The firmware is very good and very stable. These are kind of issues that people might have not noticed and maybe they missed a feature and maybe their Infinity is not actually permanent. So basically if you turn on your PSP once you've installed Infinity and you just have to restart Pro or LME every time, this video will be perfect for you because it will show you how to fix your issue. As you can see on my PSP Go right here I've got 6.61 Pro C and it has the little Infinity logo. Now if you're turning your PSP off and on every time and the custom firmware is still not showing up, basically what you want to do if you're in settings, close out of it. You want to scroll over and you want to go onto your memory card. So go onto the system storage. We're going to scroll down and we are going to find it the Infinity 2 update. So what we're going to do from here is just press X to go ahead and open it up and we're just going to wait for it to load. Now mine looks a bit weird, that's just because I've got this Kirby theme, um, but yours should load up in um, a second. And then once we are in it, it says, Welcome to Infinity. What we actually have to do is scroll left, and we're going to get over to this screen. Now, make sure your custom firmware is running, but you're going to want to select whichever one you have. If you have ME, you press X on ME. If you have Pro, you press X on Pro. And once you've pressed X, you want to go ahead and just press right to go back to the menu. We're then going to press the PSV to Home button, and we're going to press X to exit. Now, if you turn your PSP off and on again, it should now be permanent. So we're just going to give this a quick test. Um, I might have actually missed this out on my Infinity installation video. I hope I didn't, um, but I'm kind of thinking maybe I did. But anyway, this video I will link in the description of that one or the comments. So what we're going to do, we're going to press select to bring up the VHS menu. And we can go down to, maybe we can go down to shut down device, press X. And it's actually just going to turn it off. Now, when we turn it back on, we're going to press select straight away. And we're going to see, is our custom firmware loading up straight away? So so let's go ahead and let's find out. Let me just turn my PSP Go on. And then we're just going to wait for it. If you have a custom theme like me, it might take a few seconds longer. But what we're going to do, we're going to press select. And as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. Um, the custom firmware is fine. Also, any other issues? If you have issues with ME or LME, I would recommend switching to Pro. Um, I have had issues with ME and LME in the past. That's why I always just stick with Pro. But there you go. So if you guys enjoyed this quick video, it would really help if you leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.